Hello everyone, my name is Keo Live at Home and this is the first in a two-part guide for Redfall. We are looking at the collectibles known as Grave Locks, which as you will see are shining, ghostly locks of hair in vials that tell their own story throughout the game. In this video I will focus on the Redfall Commons map exclusively. I won't need to go into detail on each specific Grave Lock, but we'll give an overview on each area and walk you through what I found is to be the most practical order, at least for the way I played the game. The Redfall Commons map is split into five areas, and if the Grave Lock is missable or nearby mission objectives, I've included footage of the mission to help you out along the way where I can. Also of note is that the Redfall Commons map and the Burial Point map are completely isolated, so if you miss Grave Locks in Redfall Commons, you'll have to collect those in New Game Plus, which you get forced into when you finish the story, so there is no room at the time this guide was made to freely explore after you complete the story. You can listen to the Grave Locks again in the archive under the Grave Lock section, but the audio is unlocked in sequential order, so you cannot use the archive to check which one you are missing, and there is no other way to track progress outside your counter total, which is on the loadout screen. And there are 45 for total in the Red Core Commons map, and 55 in the Burial Point map. Alright, so let's get into it. So the first area is Heritage Rock. Most grave locks in this area are pretty straightforward and are found around the docks and in the rocks throughout the lighthouse area. There are eight in total and it seems to be pretty spread out. I chose Heritage Rock as the starting point as they require little more than navigation to each area. Sedgwick can be a little bit more tricky, with the locations in and around the structures including the Avon Clinic, Church, Graveyard and Addison Mansion. There are a total of eight, and the only confusing one may be near the incinerator below the Avon Clinic, where you can climb up a shaft and open quick access to below again. Also from the Grave Lock on the second floor of the Addison Mansion, follow the door that is directly in front of you up to the attic and then into the alcove above to find the next one.
Are you from here? This town. <sighs> okay. It's over now. Now onto the areas that will take a little bit longer. Shade Tree Heights will have seven. There are two located in the Supper Club, one on the roof and the other under the pier accessed from the entrance of the club. From there, there are two at the Island Crash Site, one on a park bench and the other is accessed by either dropping into a hole off the pier or through a cave off the side of the island where you can access in from underneath. Next, if you go directly south to the river, you'll find one at Knot Cottage hidden in the roof. From there, just follow the river northwest to the other crash site, and you'll find the last two along the way. One off to the side of the path up to the mountain, and the other on the opposite side of the ravine near the crash. Make sure you go ahead and complete the objectives for Two Birds One Stone. This will open up more options in the armory, allowing for a choice of six weapons to be purchased instead of two. If you didn't find a UV beam along the way, you can get one from here instead. Alright, so moving on to Old Town, there are nine grave locks. You'll find several around the pier and the residential buildings, but then you head over to the Overton Theatre for one in the basement and one on the roof. For the one on the roof, you head to the area behind the cinema screen, up a ladder and then navigate across the walkways.
There is also another in the roof a uh, block or so away to the northwest and it's accessible from the ground. Remember when I said you might need the UV gun down the track? Well, now you need to head into the custom building for which the vampire in the middle of the red mist will you must destroy to access the next one. It's just sitting inside a locker in one of the side rooms. Now for the last Old Town Grave Lock, here is the entirety of the uh, Grave Situation mission, which is required to access a Grave Lock located only by accessing the Garage in the Rewards mission that comes after. At this time, the Rewards mission does not unlock as soon as you finish a Grave Situation, but you need to complete any other mission for it to appear, or I believe you can simply quit and reload, but I didn't test this. Go ahead and grab the Grave Lock before you open the boot of the car just to be safe, as the garage door closes and it will be missable until the new game plus is started. Thank you. I have something that might interest you. My
So Basewood was the final area that I left to do with a total of nine. First off, travel back to the sub club in Shade Tree Heights. But then if you turn around, there will be two nearby, one in the north direction and one in the east direction separately. The one at the east is also located next to the building that has the taking the airways side mission. The starting point for that is inside. You can have a go at getting the dexterity save achievement as well there if you like. After this, you can head further north from the supper club to collect the two grave locks along the piers, and then head to Dead Catch Records, which will be on your map if you collected the Taking Back the Airwaves mission from before. There is one inside the building just behind some fallen shelving. If you are following the guide, head back to the Supper Club Fast Travel Point and go west. Along this road you will find the Autumn Trail Road Fast Travel Point. From here go north to find the Golden View Mobile Community for two grave locks. One inside the first home in front of the entrance and the other further along in an esky by the front porch. Then continue slightly north past the homes to Samuelson's shipyard for another on a nearby boat. Now into the main area of the shipyard, there is one inside a container of the actual building and two more around the outskirts of the map. These two are located just outside the rear of the shipyard, one on the pier and the other further along on a tanker that you can see from where you were standing by the last one. It's just past the pier to the east, you just follow the wave.
For the final two grave locks in Redville Commons, if you have the Stormy Point Fast Travel, go to that or circle back around the eastern side of Basewood from the shipyard. You can do this earlier, but for the sake of consistency and showing the mission locations for the taking back the airwaves, I left these for last. One is inside the gas station directly behind the fast travel point, and the other is closer to the middle of Basewood in a house that is the same location for the whiskey and cigars mission. You will see that I collected the mission items in the video, and then the last grave lock for the Red Claw comments. Okay, congratulations. You should now have all the grave locks in this map and can push on with the story. Thank you for watching the video. Like and follow me in all the places. And if there are any changes to the way grave locks are collected in future updates, I will try and pin the changes in the comments. Thanks for watching.